Alrighty, I'm getting pretty advanced here with the technology. I think I figured something. Oh, there's Toby. That's my buddy Toby. It's <laughs> <Okay. laughs> a good picture of him. Okay, sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm getting pretty advanced. I'm. Uh, I figured out how to record my screen on my iPad. I got for the trip here, and I think this is a good way to show you roots and how I'm getting places. So. This is for flight. This shows um, all the aeronautical aeronautical maps in Canada. Um, so I'll well, don't look at where I am now. <laughs> uh, that'll give away. That's fine. I'm in Kelowna now, but uh, the videos will catch up. Um, so we'll talk about the first route and where I was. Obviously, this looks a little confusing. Uh, if you haven't seen one of these and there's all these different layers you can put on it. So you might be more used to, uh, I personally like like an aerial map. So that in all the, uh, oops, all the dots there, that's, that's to do with weather where some airports report, uh, weather, but anyways, you can generally see what's going on here. There's, there's Canada. We're in British Columbia over here. And I can also draw on this thing. See? Woo! Okay. Uh, clear. Clear, clear, clear. I'll need some time to get good at this. But anyways. So, now you see the ground. I will do it from... I'm going to have to do it from the flight map here. Because then I can actually show you my route. So you'll just have to get used to it. So Here we go. This is the, the maps that I use to, to fly around. So, there's Abbotsford. That's where I did my training originally but the plane that uh that i bought was hangered in langley uh how much into this do i want to get well just generally i guess i'm not going to go in super detail right here but here's the runways so on a map like this it basically shows you like here's the one runway here's the other runway um i can show you go here to langley details of langley so that's what the runways at Langley look like. There's two of them. One of them is 2,743 feet. The one's 2,100 feet. Uh, the one's called 0119. That's related to the direction they're going. So this is, uh, I can't draw over there. Okay, but if, if this is zero, oh, geez, geez, geez. I'll get there, give me a second. If this one, is zero one nineteen like that, which it, which is that one there. Um, that means this way is uh, at around ten degrees. On like the compass out of three hundred sixty degrees, and then this way, going that way, is around one hundred ninety degrees. All right, but I'm not trying to teach lessons here. I'm not qualified nor should I try to. So I'll show you the route though, uh, without drawing on this thing. So took off from Langley and my goal was to get to uh, Tofino. So Tofino is this one here. And blue means the weather's not great there right now. Um, so I think I can actually, I'll draw the line, but then I, I think I can pull up the actual route. So how do I get from Langley again? Langley's here. How do I get from there to there for day one? Well, I planned a route. You'll see the map changes here. That's because there's a more detailed map. Uh, on paper, there's two, literally two maps. There's this map, but obviously that's hard to navigate in little congested spaces like this. So they have another map, um, which kind of opens things up so you can see better. So from Langley, what I did and what you can do is, you might not know this because I didn't know this, but this, this here is the US border, but they have an agreement. Um, Canada and the US have an agreement because of like where Vancouver Island is that we're allowed to fly through there to get over there. So what I did is I went, took off 
from 1.9. Can't see it here, but I went this way. And then, I don't know, I was kind of coming through here. <laughs> I don't know how I did there. And then this is a VFR route across to East Point. Follow these double arrows. And I'm talking to the different places. Like these things tell you who you're talking to. And then you zoom in, you can see at what height. So that's from 2,500 up to 6,000 is which where I was in. I, I go in west i was flying at 4500 feet so i was talking to these people victoria terminal um on that frequency okay so i was talking to them and then you fly i found this route da -da. this is where something fun happened which i'll show you on a video later uh and then uh oops i'm zoomed out too much to see there we go and then i went followed this route up here blah blah to do up here, I want to avo avoid this. There's a control zone. Uh, yep. Where did I go here? Okay, yep, I'm still on route here. Then I went up between here, over in Nanaimo. It was really pretty in here. Kept going just kind of along the shoreline. And then Qualicum Beach. Oh, I think I cut in a little before that. So let me, I kind of went here and then I cut it in this way and a lot of times you want to follow roads and such especially so if you, you see these these are the mountain peaks so these are pretty high all in the colors like the darker color here it's all very high land whereas um, like in this area you can see it's lower so this is high that's not too high this is high anyways I'm gonna I'm not gonna be able to see anything soon do, 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 do. Okay, and then I went basically, oh, this is what I did. I went over here because the weather was so-so, and I landed at Port Alberni. So again, I can look at that runway. Details, I usually go to the CFS. And it, it tells you here, oops, I don't like a, a different color. Port Alberni, there's the runway. There's how long it is, 5,000 feet. Plenty long for me. There's the frequency. And um, yeah, you can read. Some of them are longer than others. Okay, and go back to my map. So I landed in Port Alberni. I checked the weather for uh, Tofino, which I'm getting pretty close now. Then this part here that you can't tell the weather for is in here. There's no reporting station or anything. There's not even a reporting station over here. So this line here, this highway, uh, you really don't know how low the clouds are or how it's going to be. Um, so the nice thing about being able, like stopping somewhere like Port Alberni was that I can start this route and if it's not going well, let's turn around, go back and stay the night. But in my case, I got really lucky. The weather held up for me. So I was able to follow this little highway and, and that would be just an amazing drive too so I just followed that because you can see if you go close obviously the water is on the bottom so it's lower there um, and you're you're more able to fly through that area and then I came up here to Kennedy Lake and then here's something I'll get into some details here for a second so uh, uh, I don't know if I can how do I do it Okay, so Long Beach, that's the airport there. So this is the airport. That's what it looks like. And you can see that looks the same. So this looks the same as, as that picture. Okay. Back, back, back. And then there's another procedure, which you have to find somewhere else, but... Uh, done with that. Close this. Where's my Long Beach procedure? Here it is. It's not so much of a, oh, can I flip it? Look at that. It's not so much of a procedure, but calling points. So you see this flag means that's somewhere you can call over. So when I got to Kennedy Lake, you say, hey, Long Beach Radio, I'm over Kennedy Lake at whatever height, I'm looking to come in to whatever runway, like whatever runway is active. Uh, you ask uh, the radio in that case. <laughs> I don't know how, am I getting weight? 
Am I getting way too in detail here? I don't know. Let me turn that off. Okay, take a take a breather. Quick breather. You're following so far. Not that you need to. But here's Kennedy Lake, like I showed you over there. So I called them and said it was here. Blah blah. And the runway active was uh, I think it was two five. Is there a two five or two nine? Oh no, no, it was, it was two five. Two five was active. So um, that means it depends on the winds and such. So that's this one here. So I was able to just come in from Kennedy Lake and then do a straight in approach. And then I was able to land in Tofino. And once I landed, I can't draw on this part, which is a little unfortunate, but I can talk you through it. So I landed on uh, two five there, and then I taxied over on Hotel, the H, uh, to Foxtrot, and Foxtrot is also called Apron 3. You can see it on this map. Um, oh, I can draw on this one. There you go. So I went up here, taxied here, and then this is where I camped. And that is the very first leg of the journey. Uh, how long did it take me? I can't remember. I can probably find it if you give me a minute, but <laughs> there it is. So if you look in the, in the big picture, um, I went from Langley up here over to Tofino. That's day one, flight number one of the adventure.